the end never looks good, even if the end comes via a close loss. The end looks worse when a former rival controls the game from start to finish, as Duke did in its 13-8 victory over Maryland in the NCAA Final Four at Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Duke opened the game on a 6-0 run, and while the Terps were able to close the game to an 8-7 score in the third quarter, that six-goal run decided the game. If not for Terrapin Gali, Dan Morris's 14 saves, nine of which came in the first half, this game would have looked like Yale's dominant win over Albany in the earlier Final Four game. In the preview of this game, it was noted that Maryland needed to win the face-off battle, it did 15-10 control the tempo of the game, and watch out for Duke freshman midfielder, Nikkei Montgomery. Duke rattled off 38 shots, forced 13 Maryland turnovers, and let Montgomery use his change of pace to score three first-half goals. Instead of putting a pole on Montgomery, the Terps opened the game putting SSDMs on him, and he abused the short sticks, who held up much better in the second half when Duke forced several favorable big little switches. Yet it wasn't just Montgomery who looked like he ran a half step faster than every TERP. For most parts of the first half Duke pushed pace through the midfield and ran the Terps ragged. Much was made, especially by the ESPN crew, of Maryland's depth or lack thereof, but it wasn't Maryland's lack of depth through the midfield that Duke exploited. It was Maryland's lack of speed, which has been a recurring problem with the defensive midfield all season. While most teams chose to attack the Terps' SSVMs through inverts or speed dodges down the alley, Duke wore out the slower TERP midfielders by making them chase Duke between the restraining lines. Tim Rattans, Bubba Fairman, and Connor Kelly each spent long runs on the field from offense to defense, and the Terps suffered as a result. The Terps defense, which ranks lower than most previous Terrapin defenses, made several communication mistakes. Two of those mistakes allowed Duke to score with less than five seconds remaining on a shot clock. In both cases, Duke's Justin Guterding, who was held to a respectable goal in two assists through three quarters but finished the fourth quarter with additional two goals and an assist, used straight speed dodges to get to goal line extended and fed to the crease where Maryland simply left attackman Joe Robertson unguarded. These goals, coming with 4.55 remaining in the third and 10.06 remaining in the fourth, stemmed a Maryland third quarter run. Mistakes for the Terps also limited the Terps' offense. When the Terps closed the score to 8-7 with 8.05 remaining in the third quarter, the Terps won a face-off and had a chance, and momentum, to tie the game. Instead, an errant pass led to a turnover. Duke was able to score a goal and get breathing room. The Terps would never threat it again. Duke extended its lead, again off of another defensive communication breakdown, with a step-down shot from 10 yards to make it 10-7 in favor of Duke. From there, Duke would finish off the game in the Terrapin season. Tim returns with the truck stick and Bubba Fairman with the score for it term lax. Pick.twitter.com slash act Kafener, inside lacrosse at inside. Lacrosse, May 26, 2018 When the dust settles on this season, it will be remembered as a success, which it demonstrably was. The Terps entered the season defending a national championship and lost 113 goals and 76 assists from that championship team. They also had to replace NCAA Final Four MVP and NCAA Defenseman of the Year, Tim Muller. Yet the Terps spent three weeks atop the polls and earned the top seed in the NCAA tournament. They won the B1G regular season title. They had six All-Americans, including two-time, first-team All-American, Connor Kelly. 
Kelly finished the season with 82 points, third best season total in program history, and his illustrious career with 191 points and 128 goals, ninth and fifth, respectively, in program history. The senior class, led by redshirt seniors Dan Morris and Tim Rattons and seniors Connor Kelly and Bryce Young set records for career wins. They made five straight Final Fours and made three championship appearances. They won four B1G regular season championships and two B1G tournament championships. We may never see another run like this again, so we should appreciate it. In the next few days, we will start looking forward to next season because the Terps will again contend for titles and Final Fours. Today we should appreciate what this program has accomplished. Between the women's and men's team, no other Terrapin program can match the success of the lacrosse programs.